Hey guys, I'm Shwaib. Let's talk about Samsung Tab S4, which I've had for six years now. While it's been great for my needs, is it still worth it in 2024? Starting off with the specifications of the Tab S4, it's a 10.5 inch tablet with 64 gigabytes internal storage with the ability to expand via micro SD card up to 400 gigabytes, which is recommended by Samsung, but you can expand it to two terabytes. If you just get a micro SD card that is two terabytes, it should still work. There's four gigs of SD RAM. I wish it was eight gigs but we have to understand that this came out in 2018 and tablets around that time on average had two to three gigs of ram and therefore this falls in line with high-end tablet with four gigs of ram so it's definitely ahead of its time for sure but for today's standards it definitely does not cut it with just four gigabytes lastly it has integrated hd graphics co-processor there's bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz and 5.0 gigahertz which is pretty standard Moving on, when it comes to the build quality and design, it's a slim frame and a stylish design. Even in 2024, it looks very modern, like it's a modern device. Although I can't get over the fact that it does just look like an enlarged Samsung phone of its time. The placement of the rear camera really gives this away. That's how many phones at the time started off with having the rear camera placed right in the center on the back, more towards the top. And therefore it does look like an enlarged phone at times, but it's definitely not a problem, especially since I barely use the camera camera on the tablet and for the most part I use it in landscape mode which is how you use a tablet so for the most part I'm using it in landscape mode and it doesn't bother me in that aspect but all in all it's definitely a slim stylish tablet definitely still looks modern so you can completely pull it off in 2024 Moving on to the display, the Tab S4 has a 10.5 Super AMOLED display with resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels. It has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and slimmer bezels. Honestly, it's by far one of the best displays I've used at the time. And since I have not upgraded ever since I've got this tablet, it's still one of the best in my experience. I enjoy watching movies and shows on this tablet from time to time. The colors really pop and overall gives me an immersive experience along with its quality audio system, which is loud and crisp. So speaking of the audio system, it has Dolby Atmos surround sound with quad speakers tuned by AKG, which in my experience has been delivering a lifelike audio quality. Music sounds great with fantastic bass. And whenever I'm watching a TV show or movie, honestly, in short, I have no complaints about the sound quality of this tablet. It's very immersive and great quality. Furthermore, one of the key aspects of the Tab S4 or just the Tab S lineup or just Samsung tablets in general is its S Pen support. And what is nice about this is that it's included in the box. The main reason I got this tablet at the time was for S Pen support and this was my college notebook. This held everything, my class notes, homework assignments, study materials, and you know, everything else that you need as a college student. Although the S Pen worked great for the most part, the tip did start to wear off at times and I had to replace it like once or twice in the past six years. And the other issue I had was not necessarily the S Pen itself, but some parts of the display for some reason wouldn't show the S Pen marks. Like it would not show me writing over that part of the screen. And I couldn't quite figure out what that problem was, but I do want to note that I had bought this tablet from eBay as refurbished and not new. So perhaps the previous owner messed up the display a little bit or just over time, some segments of the display stopped responding to the S Pen. However, this is not a problem for me since it was only a small part of the screen and I can always move the OneNote page to like a segment where I can write with the S Pen. So in short, the S Pen works great for the purpose I got it for and it lasts me for all of college and more. But having said all that though, it's definitely not the fastest S Pen. There were lags and it's noticeable at times, but in the long run, it wasn't a problem. I can take my notes, I can doodle, I can do whatever I needed to for college, which I initially got it for and it was not a problem it worked and it comes with a couple of replacement tips so if it does wear off you can replace it and that's done easily Moving on to performance. In terms of the performance, let's just look at the Geekbench and let that do the job. As you can see, it's not the best compared to today's tablets. This is way behind, but currently I mainly use this tablet for watching YouTube videos, TV shows, movies, basically just entertainment purposes. Therefore, personally for me, it's not a problem, but if you want something, say for gaming or more heavy tasks like video editing, coding, I would not recommend this tablet today. There are way better tablets that are out there today with amazing performance 
performance. The latest Tab S9 will blow you out of the park with the latest chips and graphics and performance capabilities of the latest tablets. I would not consider the S4 for any of those purposes. But if you're looking for something that is for light work, then I would recommend the Tab S4 for sure in that aspect. And in addition to that, when it comes to the pricing, it's also a really good deal. The device has a great deal for today if you need the tablet for watching videos and light work. Like you can get a renewed Tab S4 for under 300 bucks. And if you don't mind getting a refurbished device, you can actually get this guy for 175, which is a great deal for what's packed. Moving on to the camera, it has an okay camera. But one thing I want to note though, like you should not buy a tablet for its camera. Like it's nice to have, but it's not a need on a tablet per se. Like the camera is good for taking pictures of notes, but that's it. The front camera is decent. It does the job for video cameras. There's a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and an eight megapixel front facing camera. And that's good for video calls. But in short, the camera is there for fun. It doesn't really, like don't really have any high expectations for this. It's good for light stuff and and that's just where it is. So here I have a video of an ant and I took some photos with the camera just to give you an idea of you know what it's like in terms of the quality. So it's not the best, definitely not like your high-end camera or anything. It's just a basic camera that does the job for the purposes that you need it for and it's just light work. Moving on to software. So when I initially got the tablet, it had Android 8 and today it has Android 10. And that's basically where the software updates stopped because initially Samsung only did updates for two to three years and that would be it. So I'm grateful that now they're doing up to seven years, but for the Tab S4, it doesn't go beyond that. I do wish that it got more software updates, both you know security updates and OS updates, but it doesn't. Yet it's still very modern and and it has the latest applications and I can still do everything that I need. Like web browsing, watching YouTube, Netflix, Plex, all these applications work great. And as always, it's very nice watching on this tablet, like any content, because it just makes me realize just how stunning the display really is. So again, for software, it currently has Android 10, which is fairly modern, and it has Samsung's One UI 2.1, which for the most part feels smooth. And again, it's just very modern, even without any OS updates. And lastly, it does get application updates through Google Play Store. So you can still get the latest applications and still do what you need to in those aspects. So again, fairly modern in terms of software and for the most part, it does the job and it's smooth. Moving on, I want to talk about something that Samsung is known for, and that is Dex Mode. They have had this for years now, and they have it on the Note phones, they have it on the Ultra phones, and the tablets, of course. And I've used Dex Mode once or twice just to try it out. But if you want to get like serious about using your tablet, and you want to use it like a computer, you can actually do that in Dex Mode. All you need to do is attach a wireless keyboard and mice, turn on Dex Mode, and you can view your applications in separate windows of themselves and navigate from one to another just like how you do on a computer and that's where the power really comes handy so I could see it like you can actually use this like a computer if you add the keyboard and mice and you can use it for things like maybe light coding or great for scripting especially writing in like Google Docs or Samsung Notes like personally I've used that for writing my scripts and even preparing or sketching a rough thumbnail idea so overall Dex mode is really cool I kind of wish I have used it more but in my work cases I use my computer more than my tablet if you're in the case where you want your tablet to also be a computer this can definitely do it for sure Moving on to the battery, there's a 7,300 milliamp hour battery, which is a huge battery for its time. And initially when I first got it, it would last me all day and some more. So when I first got it, it would last like 12 plus hours of usage, like watching videos, taking notes, web browsing, and it would handle that all throughout the day. But currently after six years, the battery life isn't the best. At max, I'm looking at around four to five hours on a single charge. And if I wanna continue, I would have to charge it again. But for those hours, 4 to 5 is great for what I currently use it for, like watching a full movie or an episode of a show or just taking notes here and there. So for the light work, it's still fairly good, but having said all that though, it's not the best battery after having used it for 6 years. If you do get a brand new, it should be still good, like you can still get 12 hours of usage, but if you get it refurbished or after it's been used for certain years, it may not be the best battery. You do have an option though if you want to replace 
replace the battery, put in a new battery, and then that will definitely expand the life of the battery or end the device in general. But just after six years in my use case, the battery is not the best. It's good for the light work that I needed to do, so it's not a problem for me. But if you're looking for something with better battery, I would not recommend this in terms of, you know, a lot of the latest tablets have way better battery and they're way more optimized with the latest software to enhance, you know, and extend battery life to even farther. So in conclusion, is the Tabis 4 worth it in 2024? Well, it depends on what you need it for. If you want it for light work, entertainment purposes, like watching videos, note taking, scripting, and just like overall, just light stuff like that, then it's a great deal and it's perfect for those light tasks. But if you're looking for something more powerful, say photo editing, video editing, coding, or gaming, this isn't the tablet for you. And 2024 definitely has way better tablets. Like just look at the Tab S9 or any of the latest iPads. They are way more powerful, you know, has the latest technology and S Pen has got way better. So I would definitely recommend a lot of the newer tablets if you want something in terms of performance. But if you just want it for basic stuff, like light work and honestly it's great for school like if you just want something to take notes for school or college definitely get this i think it's a great deal for the buck and it's still a modern looking device well that's it for today don't forget to like comment subscribe ring that bell icon as always have a superb day and thanks for watching